What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Alright guys, my last two videos were about Mars. The next two videos, this one and the next one, is going to be about the moon. Alright, I'm going to show you this and this is wild. Okay, let's jump right into it. So this is the photo you'll be looking at. And this is, you can see at the very top here, it's nasa.gov. And it is, a, it is from Apollo Mission 17. As you can see, it's AS17-134-20390. And, of course, you guys will get the link, as always. All right. Guys, sometimes you don't have to do a thing to these photos. And, you know, I got some of you guys telling me, hey, man, you know, Chris, you got a keen eye, man. You just, like, have a, have a knack for this stuff. Believe it or not, guys, I do appreciate that very much. But you guys, listen, I'm no better than you guys. You know what, you know what the keen eye is? Right here. That's right. Just a jeweler's loop. And I, I prefer to use this instead of something larger, like this, you know, uh, bigger magnifier, because you can you can actually just, like, hone into a smaller area and just look at every detail. That's what I use. I'm no different than you guys. I'm not better than you guys. This is what I use. And anybody could do the same thing. Just bring up the photo. Do not zoom in into it at all. I mean, you can if it's something way in the background, but you don't want to make it so big that it, the, the photo starts to fall apart, right? Because then you'll lose clarity out of it. So what you want to do is, like this particular one, I went over every little nook and cranny, and boom, seeing this right here. Now, let's zoom in because, again, we don't have to do a thing to this photo. Uh, first of all, on the side here, on the right-hand side, you could just see things have been taken out of this. Look at this. I mean, that doesn't even, first of all, you got to, these, these hills, buttes, whatever they may be, absolute crap. Come on, man. Look at the detail we have in the foreground. Rocks, 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 nothing. I mean, come on. And then, you know, people will say, well, that's because it's like, you know, it's smooth. It's some kind of uh, different sand or rock. No, 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 no. Then what's the excuse on this one? You know what I mean? And it looks like this squared out, like somebody tried to take something out. You know what I mean? But that's not the anomaly. Here's the anomaly or anomalies. Now, guys, just to give you a perspective, this is the same photo that I featured in another video about the spacecraft that was in the air. Now, it obviously, it was a different photo because they didn't have the actual satellite dish from the uh, lunar buggy uh, in the photo. But right here, it was literally over this, this hill here, and it was over here at the very top in the sky. Well, now we're looking at the ground just below it, right? So let's jump into that. Go down, check this thing out. To me, it looks like some kind of robot head. It looks like a head right here, two eyes, but what it has is something going around it to the right, something to the left, and then you've got like a white area here, and then two, three, but it goes further than that. And I'm gonna show you this a whole lot better in a minute. And I showed my buddy this, he goes, hey, what's up with the gun? I'm saying gun, what is this guy even talking about? He says, look at right there, there's this white circle, Kind of like these two eyeballs or whatever these things are. And you can see from front, this is the front of it, like a, like a laser cannon. And he has a hole now. I'm thinking the barrel would be black, right? But whatever. And then from front to back, this thing's got some length to it. You're going to see that a whole lot better. Not only then are you going to see that, but you're going to see right here. You can see this black edge going like this. And then it goes like this. That's not where it stops. It keeps going. And it goes like this. And it literally goes all the way down. You can see it right here. You can literally see there's an inner and outer. There's one here, but this one keeps on going like this. You can see the edge going all the way down here. And then it kind of, I don't know if this is just getting in the way and you can't see the whole circle. But I'm going to show you that right now. Let's jump into Photoshop because, you know, I wanted everybody to see this photo before going into Photoshop. Sometimes people blame me. Hey, you know what? You're doing this thing to the photo, so therefore you're making something out of nothing. Let's jump into Photoshop. Like I said, we're going to throw some more pixels into the photo. Boom, blow it up a little bit. Now let's take another look. This thing is cool, or these things are cool. I don't know what the hell they are. I'm saying it kind of looks like this weird robot head. Remember, um, was it, uh, try to remember, they found Data, or Data's head for, you know, from Star Trek on one of the moon photos. Um, and what was funny about it is you can see it like laying in one of the craters, right? And this one here looks like it's no different. Check this out. It literally looks like it goes like this, comes up, goes like this. And, of course, you can't see the other side because it is in the shadows, right? But you can see that going across. And it looks like there's little white areas that do this, something like this here. I can see that. And it's got these two white-looking, it almost look like eyes, right? Not saying that's what they are, but it kind of looks that way. And over here, you got that weird, 
like I said, I don't know if I'd call it a gun, but whatever this thing is, whatever this anomaly is, it literally goes like this. You can see it. And then goes back. And then you kind of lose it right here because there is no, you know what I mean? There's not enough light to see that. But now let's let's bring it up a little bit more. Check this out too. In addition to this from, like I said, from this round circle here, go like this, go like that, goes back, this part goes back, here, goes like this. But what's funny about it is look at these right here. There's something on right on the back here. Looks like it has this weird squared on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just jump back out of that. See it? And then you've got this piece here. Now, like I said, for some reason, you can see right here, it's very faint, but there's something white going through here. And all of this is nothing but obfuscation and manipulation. All that That's all that is. Because you'll see down here, it looks like it has these weird tubular framing kind of white pieces coming straight out of that. See that? Let me jump back out of this. You, can, you guys can see that. See that? Right here. It also, whatever these things are, and you can see it right here. I don't know if you can, let me just back up a little bit. Right here, whatever this thing is from here, it's literally going straight all the way down. And then you, again, you've got this one piece on the right-hand side of this, this head-looking thing. And then you've got this square right here, or this weird shape. This going like this. And this one going like this. Now, let me enhance this a little bit better for you guys. So I started, I wanted to show you this piece here where I said it goes like this. Goes down like this and goes around. It does that. What that is, I don't know. You can literally see the line. It's kind of like the texture of the photo is different. But now let me jump into this a little bit better. What I'm going to do is we're going to circle that there, circle that a little bit. And then we're going to jump into this photo a little bit brighter. And then I'm going to show you this right here. What do you guys think that is? That seems to stick out from the rest of this photo. And I don't see anything in here that looks remotely like that. I've got people asking me, hey, Chris, why would they leave these details in here but not, you know, but but cover everything else up? Well, because it's almost like they're saying, listen, anybody who wants to find this stuff is going to find it. And that's all there is to it. They're willing to look for it. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this white area right here now. So you can see a little bit better. That's not smooth, but do it this way. It looks like it's kind of like 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 pipe kind of thing. See it? And right there. This one looks like it goes up underneath. I don't know what that is, guys, but that is crazy. See it? Right there. I'm just going to go right through the center of this thing down. You can start to bring this stuff out if you do it right. Now, to me, I don't know what this thing is. I call it a, uh, an alien robot head. And whatever this thing is, they could be just parts of machinery, guys. I don't believe that's a simple rock or simple rocks with these things so perfectly placed, these circles, right in the middle of something right here. That's at 400%. Anybody on their smaller gadgets can see this a little bit better. I'm not going to make this in too long. As always, you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think is going on. And like I said, I got another video coming up after this one, and it's a very, very small anomaly on the moon. And it's on the actual lunar surface, not in a mountain, not in some kind of hill. It's right there. And again, there's my keen eye, guys. And I'm going to let you guys see this. And of course, you always get the links. So you're going to actually eyeball this yourself if you've got one of these here. And you're just going to go, wow, how did he pull that out? Same way you're going to see it. Simple as that, right? Anyway, guys, like, share the video. And of all things, and most important, drop a comment down below. Stay tuned for the next video coming up. And I'll see you then.